Welcome to HGMD, the Human Gene Mutation Database, a database on mutations and polymorphisms causing or associated with human inherited disease. In this little tour, we will show you the benefits and uses of HGMD and take you on a tour through the interface of the database. You can use HGMD to understand the genetic causes of a disease, to find mutations in a single gene or an entire genome, and to significantly reduce the time you require for literature review. There are two versions of HGMD. HGMD Public, offered by Cardiff University, is the optimal version for you if you are a student and don't need access to the latest and greatest data. This version requires registration, but is free for academia, even though the data are over two years out of date and you cannot get a download of it. You can get more information on this version at www.hgmd.org. In HGMD Professional, you will get up-to-date comprehensive data that is current and industry standard strength. This is the right version for you if you're a researcher, a physician, a genetic counselor or work in a genetic testing lab and need professional create access to the most current data. You can find out more under www.biobaseinternational.com. HGMD is constantly being updated. In this graphic you see the number of mutations and polymorphisms recorded in HGMD on the y-axis locked against the number of quarters over the years on the x-axis. As you can see, there are nearly 100,000 unique different mutations in the HGMD database, which cover over 3,500 genes and are uh, extracted from nearly 30,000 literature articles. The black line here on the left hand side shows where the data entries in the public version stop. All the data to the right of this black line is only available through the professional version. HGMD is widely used all over the world with over 30,000 registered users. Especially it has been used in several very high profile studies that were analyzing entire genomes such as the entire genome of Craig Venter and James Watson, recently published. HGMD also is used by personalized genomics companies who take the data to analyze the genomes of their customers and give them better insight into their disease risks. The database is an industry standard. If you get the professional version of HGMD, you can not only get online access, you also can get the database installed in-house, which allows you to access it through programmatic interfaces and to do statistical analysis directly on the backend tables of the relational database. But for now, let's have a look at the online interface of the database. This is the entry page of HGMD Professional. As you can see, there is a wide range of different types of mutations recorded in the database, starting from missense and nonsense, single uh, nucleotide mutations uh, or SNPs, all the way down to cross deletions, insertions and complex rearrangements. Using HGMD is very simple and easy. You can search for genes, mutations, for titles of references or even for any kind of word, for example for phenotypes. Let's start with a simple gene search. You just go and type in the name of your favorite gene Let's take the ever popular TP53 and hit submit query to get your gene summary. As you can see, there are 200 mutation entries known for TP53. Let's have a look what these are. The mutations are broken down by type, but there is much more detailed information available on those mutations in the database. For example, you can see all the different kinds of diseases that are associated with those mutations. You can also see external links to a lot of different other databases which give you more in-depth information on these genes. And you can find out functional annotation about these genes, what they are about. You also find the first published references on these mutations. For you, probably most interesting are the mutations themselves. So let's have a look at some of the mutations. For example, there are 12 mutations known to be associated with breast cancer. Click on Get Mutations to get more in-depth detail. Here you can see a list of all these mutations. For each mutation, we will record the codon change in the DNA, the amino acid change that results, the associated disease or phenotype, and most importantly, the literature reference from which the information was taken. 
all the data in HGMD is curated manually by scientific experts who read the papers and extract the information. These people have over 15 years of experience in doing this work and assure you they get the highest quality. You can trust the data in HGMD. There is also even more in-depth information on the individual mutations available. You can find it just by clicking on the accession number for each individual mutation. Let's do that. Here you get an overview over that individual mutation and you can see that we have, for example, information about the amino acid and nucleotide sequence associated and more importantly also on the genomic coordinates which allows you to map this information on any genome browser if you have the download professional version. We provide HGVS nomenclature names for the mutations as well as a lot of other different information about physical uh, properties. Finally, let's have a look at the advanced search interface. Here you can search by browsing through different chromosomes or you can just search for any disease name, let's say breast cancer, to see which other genes also are involved in this disease. Hit start and you get a listing of the genes and mutations that are involved. Obviously this will be breast cancer 1. Uh, I think for a small starting overview of the database this should be sufficient. Thanks a lot for the time uh, you, you offered in listening and goodbye.